So let's assume that instead of going the approach with baked geometry, you still would like to have instances that are interactively arrayed. So I'm going to my component selector. I have surfaces turned on, select all my surfaces, go to edit, duplicate, object. I have everything preset, click go. And then alias tells me that I have a problem here. So as it looks like at least one of the surfacing commands does not handle instances. So um, basically this dynamic array tool. And to make this work, it probably will have to delete the construction history. So for a moment, let's just click yes and see what's going wrong here. And so let's take a look. What problem, for example, could be the cause here. And you see that The construction history for a lot of objects seems to work somewhat okay, but for example, the surfaces for the fillets is actually blue. So that surface tool we used, and in our case, that was actually the round tool, does not support the instance tool. So this way we quickly backtrack to figure out what maybe was the problem here and what does it mean so that means in case we would like to use the instance function we have to start rounding our edges without using the round tool but actually use the surface filler tool which might make things a little bit more complicated but again if one way doesn't work, there's always a second way. So how could be, or what could be a possible approach to rebuild this one so that we actually are going to have fully interactive instanced buttons? Okay, so let me show you what approach we, for example, could use. 